Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's a uh, Friday morning. It's video game day. I know. You like that? <laughs> it's like this a is, wall. Yeah, this is um, what he's going to get listed today. Get some more auctions going. So instead of just moving them all the way, he's going to pack in this little area right here. I know. Yeah. That'll I, be interesting. I was, that's what I was planning on. I wanted to go ahead and uh, get them all down. So I could sort them all out. So uh yeah, I got three lots listed yesterday, and then this will be this is about 150 PS2 games. So I'm gonna do a lot, a lot, a lot. Then I have a game starting here. I have a GameCube lot from here down to here, and then these are just some oddball games that I don't know yeah. what I'll do with. But uh yeah, I'm gonna try and get We'll see how the, today goes, but I definitely want to get at least boom, 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 four more auction lots. That's kind of my goal today uh, as far as listing goes. So uh, Candace planned a route for us. Yeah, we, what we have, got. <laughs> it's slim pickings, you know, this time of year, but I, do, I did find um, two garage sales, a church sale, and two uh, family run estate sales. Well, no, one family run and one that's just one day only estate sale. I don't know what that's all about. So we're going to hit those um, after orders are packed. And I'm going to keep checking on Facebook up until we leave just in case. Sometimes they pop up like in the morning when people open their sale and be like, why aren't anybody coming, you know? Right. Because they just put up signs. So then they'll go and throw their ad on Facebook sometimes in the morning. We'll get home like from going to garage sales. And there'll be like five more sales listed that I didn't see the day before. So hopefully we'll get some more on our little route before we leave out of here. Yeah, we uh Candace just showed me I think it's like fifty miles. Yeah. Total five driving. Sales. That's not that bad though. No, that's, that's four sales. Yeah. That's uh yeah. We'll see. <laughs> well, I mean if we don't buy anything, it'll be a major bust of uh just gas and time and everything. But yeah. we'll see. We'll keep uh keep a positive outlook on it mm -hmm. but uh and we we kind of need to even if we don't buy anything we kind of need to get out and about and do some shopping just for fun i think we're getting star crazy oh yeah i'm yeah, yeah. coming in here good morning y'all blah blah blah, blah. Mm -hmm. pull orders and yeah. list walmart pens and blah, blah blah you know it's like it's getting to uh, not be very fun lately right that's that's the nature of january february though yeah. i mean it, it, it's like this every year it just is so uh we have i think 14 or 15 things to pull so we're gonna go ahead and get that knocked out so candace and i can get on the road and try and find some goodies all right first up uh we have some cards that sold so candace is gonna help me pull pull these real fast and they're all out of this 1d box all right first one is u 132 u 132 that is rogers hornsby 299 299 yep plus ship all right u154 u154 is that is a jeremy hill auto card 299 yep u153 u153 oh i thought it was this big pack here no this is a uh sam gash autograph it's not an official it's not an official autograph but that's his autograph there on this card that sold for five Four, bucks yeah $4. uh u154 u154 already pulled that one okay this is what we were talking about yesterday <laughs> actually or a couple of days ago where a the this one that i pulled had u155 in the title, title but u154 in the custom skew yeah and i'm looking at that card and this ain't the right card yeah. so it's actually the one right after that you what 55 155 i don't have one i don't have that okay here it is this is u155 right here so that's the card the first card you told me. Yeah. 
Right, so right. that needs to be That's the, it. Yeah. Okay. So that needs to go here. And, and then this is U154. It's also a Jeremy Hill Auto. Right. They're both Jeremy Hill, Jeremy Hill Autos, but they're two different carts. All right, that's a mess up, mess up on my part. What else? Anything else? U137. Okay. U137 is a Paul Goldschmidt Auto that sold for $8 plus shipping on top. Yep, that's it. Cards. okay cool man i'm glad i'm glad we had that differentiator there i thought i, I did think i sold the same card twice at first i did too because it was the same name in the same location i'm like ooh, he listed the same thing twice <laughs> okay no i had like i had like five jeremy hill cards i listed the other day all autos and i've already sold probably at least five jeremy hill autos in the past it's crazy that like there's any kind of market for that guy's card at all when did he play uh 2014 or so i think you know he's an lsu player right no yeah lsu running back okay play with mettenberger okay digimon drawer we sold a lamp post one of these lamp posts right here we have a total of four of them i think and these are all really tested this sold for 16 19 then in guy drawer we sold a mr christmas part uh it's got a camel and a wise man that sold for 14.99 plus ship then in pocket 103 we sold some leggings <laughs> for a an ever after high doll for $12.99 plus shipping on top. That's wild. And five Charlie. I didn't even realize we still had this. Yeah, here it is. I see it. This is a parking shop vintage game game board. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping on top. We already sold like all the pieces and the cards and stuff like that that we had from the game and now the game board is finally sold and from 11 alpha we sold two more of these uh flex and go cane tips for i think 9.99 a piece i've got four more up there we started with a bunch and then like a couple of times once or two once or twice a month we'll sell one but we sold these two for 19.98 plus ship all right, I pulled the auto part box down, and I happened to spot it just as I was about to hit go. Uh, sold this instrument panel socket for $6.99 plus ship. Then Candace's flatware drawer is getting cracked open for the first time in a couple of weeks. Community coronation. I think it's a serving set or something. Oh, yeah, this is it right here five piece serving set that's it I'll, i will double check with get candace to double check actually but i'm pretty i'm almost certain this is it because it also comes with paperwork that's why we have this envelope but this sold for 24.99 plus shipping on top and now it is time to take our daily trip to the penthouse <laughs> for the pam anderson photo stickers we did sell another set and Candace is right she told me these are probably gonna sell she was right well I found out um, like a viewer emailed me and told me showed me how she's she has like a documentary coming out like kind of telling her side of the story of things just you know oh I didn't know the other side of the story so yeah, I, don't, I don't know <laughs> apparently like the videotape got has been re-released or there's copies out there again or something I don't know so anyway that's might help with our sales a little resurgence of interest in her okay so oh I have a hat here Candace that just says we, we haven't finished our inventory I have a hat here that just says hat box that's gonna that's over here isn't it or it was i don't know okay we'll, we'll see I think. we'll look around for a minute okay that was fortunate man i was scared i candace was helping me look but uh i peeked in this box and i found it thank goodness 
This is a. Uh, this is actually kind of cool. It's a camo hat with a deer on it, and it says case. So probably an operator or something is gonna mm -hmm. gonna wear this. This sold for fourteen ninety nine plus shipping on top. All right, so that's everything that sold over the past uh, probably a little less than twenty four hours, probably about twenty two hours or so. And get this stuff packed. So the other, I think yesterday, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. Candace mentioned. Uh, regional a regional rate a going away and i said oh i shipped something today like that and yeah i had a package go out yesterday with regional a candace read a message a little while ago yeah so we had a comment in our latest video um a viewer went to order regional a and b boxes and there is a message i just looked at it that that is going away january 22nd if you ship anything in those boxes um at january 22nd or later then it will just go at priority mail rates. Um, and the post office is recommending using priority mail cubic as a replacement, which you can't purchase on eBay. You'd have to go through pirate ship to get that. Or, or yeah, pirate ship or there there's, I think there's some other like third party mail outlets where you could buy it too, but not on, not on eBay, not yeah. on eBay. And also interestingly enough, uh, I don't think, the post office is uh, recommending something they don't even offer. Right. Like, you can't buy it. I don't know that you could buy I cubic bet, I bet rate. I they're going to offer it after. You think? I bet they will. I, and maybe eBay will offer it, too. Yeah. But So, you could still use your boxes. Just know you're not going to get that break in the uh, cost that's, of shoes. That sucks. Yeah. I do actually like those boxes. I've used. They're good I, sizes. No, they are. I, I, I like this kind of box sometimes sometimes i've even used this box even when it didn't really make sense money wise like maybe it costs an extra 50 cents or something but yeah. I, I like the size of that box i use it so yeah. that's sad I'm, I'm gonna miss regional ace <laughs> <laughs> all right we are back from a few sales yeah we went to what uh two garage sales two estate sales and a church sale well three estate sales one of them we didn't plan on going but it was literally the next street over from the one we went to. So um, we're going to show you what we found. We had to get kind of creative today because, you know. We, we didn't buy a ton. We didn't buy a ton. Um, so let's get into it. Th these are from the church sale. They had them marked $5 each. What are those even called? These are like. Um, I mean, I know they're bras or no, something. No, they're camisoles, but they're, um, they're like slimming, you uh, know. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're, they're uh, called flexies. Uh, but they're worth about um, 20 bucks on eBay is what they go for. See, it kind of just holds you in. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm going to decide. I haven't decided if I'm going to lot them up or sell them individually. I'm going to kind of look at past sales and see how people are buying them, if they're buying them lots. Because mm -hmm. usually something like this, people just want it for a special occasion, you know, just for to wear with a dress or whatever. I'm just sell them individual then. We'll see. Okay. I'd rather lot them all up. That was my original intent. At the church sale also, I got this uh, Monster High doll. They have like bins of toys and you really have to dig. She was a dollar. She's not super old. She's from 2016. She's worth probably $10, maybe 15. The way you can tell the super old ones, they have the joints on their wrists. See, she doesn't uh, have that. So those are not gonna be your super valuable ones. That's also why the old one's hands break off, huh? Right, Because it's a real why, weak joint, because yeah, their wrists are real, real thin. Their wrists are real thin. It was, yeah, they were broken very easily, so. This was a cool find. Uh, Lonnie spotted this. It's a brass ashtray with a um, deer head. Yeah. We paid $1.50 for that, and we found these exact ones selling for $30. Bucks. Um, I'm going to try to get some of the tarnish off. I know you said leave it. But uh, I didn't, I didn't, I forgot how bad it was. Yeah. It does look kind of bad. I'm going to try the old ketchup trick. Okay. It's good worked old. for me before. So we'll the, see. the good old ketchup trick. Good old ketchup trick. Whatever that means. Okay. I guess, does that just literally mean throw some ketchup on it and wipe yeah. it off? Yeah. The, the, um, something about the acid and the tomatoes co combats the tarnish. Mm, okay. some, some kind of chemical reaction. So I, is that what you do when you don't have Brasso on hand? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're too cheap to buy Brasso. Well, we need to, we need to keep some in stock. We, we were out of ketchup up until a couple of days ago. 
Uh, at the church also, I found these Chewbacca Mickey ears. They go for about $20, 25 I paid a 50 cents for those. I paid a 50 cents. I was about to say a dollar, and then I remember it. That's all the price. It was weird, because when Candace, Candace set her stuff up at the uh, checkout at the church sale, and and the person, the lady that was behind us, she moves in front of our stuff, and she starts looking through all of it. She says, oh, these are cool. Ewok. She goes, oh, those are some good, those are good ears. Those are Ewok. I'm like, those are not Ewok. <laughs> those are Chewbacca. And also, why are you holding it's our stuff? It's weird for somebody to come in and touch someone else's stuff that they're buying. Right. That's just weird. At the checkout. Yeah. Like, she moved in front of our stuff and started like, I'm like, okay, whatever, lady. That's how a lot of Southerners are. They're just like, whatever. Yeah, but not like that. <laughs> I've never seen exactly like that before. That was weird. Whatever. Right. This was at our first sale. You bought these next few hats, and I didn't even see them. I just paid for them. Um, this is Monster Energy Supercross World Championship. Yeah, just a little beanie. I thought it was, yeah. I thought maybe that little emblem. It's probably a kid's beanie, huh? It looks like it. They had a bunch of motocross clothing in kid sizes. But it wasn't like good stuff, I don't it think. It wasn't good, yeah. And uh, so, how much were the hats? That was 75 cents or something, okay. yeah. And then two uh, look like those are a dollar. Bass Pro hats. Yeah. Yep. And then this was also at the church sale. Um, MTV Road Rules. It's pretty dirty. Yeah, that might be a toss. It's very dirty. I didn't even see that. Yeah, that, that's probably a toss. It was honestly. 50 cents. I yeah. got it because of the MTV thing. But um, we, we looked it up, and the road there's a lot a lot of road, road rules hats. So. That, that was some MTV show where they would like go out in an RV or something. And I, don't, I never watched it. I watched it a couple. It about, yeah. It's a long time ago. All right. And then our very last sale we went to, it was kind of like almost like a barn sale. There was just stuff everywhere and a lot of stuff that had been sitting for a while. And Lonnie found these in a cabinet. So tell them about these, Lonnie. Okay. So these are, I turned over that big one and they're, they both have condition issues. But these are both Shuko and what does that say <laughs> oh what? oh oh right 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 i think that's are those directions to get it to roll straight maybe i don't know or is that just the sound this makes or 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 maybe it's just some graphics they put on there but this is a rolly vox 1080 by shuko and you see it's made in west germany uh and it has the the windshield is broken and melty yeah and I mean, other than that, it might clean up a little bit. It might be okay. It's not in horrible shape besides that. We haven't tried winding it yet though. No, we have two keys. That's like a, this is like a tool. Does this go to this maybe? I don't know. It's, look, it's got a screwdriver on it. Let yeah. me see, that might be. That might be, no, that's not for that. That might not even go with it, you know? Yeah, I have no idea. This honestly. is the wind up key. Does that fit? Try it. There's a gear right here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's working or not, but I'm not going to try. I'm not going to force it. Yeah, we haven't even really looked at it. But anyway, uh, Candace, I handed these both to Candace. This is also this a is Shuko. Also, yeah. Shuko Studio 1050. I handed them to Candace. I was, I was worried they would know, know what they were worth or something. The Although, way he, he thought, thought he thought about it for a little while, I'm pretty sure he knew what they were, but he also knows how bad the condition is. Yeah. And that probably nobody else was going to walk in there and pay money for them. I don't know about that. I think somebody might have. I think they were in a cabinet that I opened that I don't think anybody else had opened before we got there. So um, I, I handed them to Candace. I said, Candace, try and see how much they want for these. I thought maybe she could get a better price charm them or something i don't know what you do well first he told me four thousand dollars no what he, oh is that what he said yeah he was trying to be funny i'm like okay and th then he said six six dollars for both so um it's really cool though i love the hood ornament mm -hmm. on this one yeah, yeah it's got like the plane yeah the, the the plane thing so you kind of looked up some comps what are you yeah thinking? so if this was i don't well i don't know what it's going to get but they sold one of these sold the same model sold in mint condition for over two hundred dollars last month one of these sold in like really good condition for over a hundred but obviously i'm missing a wheel uh these tires are horrible so, somebody may have the tires and axle and just need a good body or something you know you yeah. never know yeah 
So, yeah, I'm not gonna. I wasn't gonna pass them up for six dollars. That's for sure. I guess even if you could find a windshield replacement, that's not something you can just pop out. Look, well, it's screwed in, maybe. Yeah, we're know. just gonna sell them both for parts, though. Yep. So six bucks for those. Those two. That's so, everything we found today. Yeah, I mean, we got you know, got enough. We got, you know, I don't know. It was sixty, ninety, hundred, one twenty. Well, we did the two estate sales. We didn't buy anything out of them, so this was literally from three sales. Right. So, so yeah, I, I think we might have. We definitely got over. Believe it or not, just these few little things is probably about two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Total total listings. So. Yeah. Gonna get those up. Uh, Candace is gonna start working on that stuff. I have got to continue working on video games yeah, for now. Get those auctions going. Yep. And I'm also going to go edit this video that we're filming right now so I can get it uploaded for this afternoon or tonight. So we're gonna go ahead and end it here. Thanks so much for watching. Hope y'all have a great weekend. Oh, good, hold on a second. good luck if you go sourcing. Candace has something else, so forget that I said we were closing the video. What you got? I told somebody we would put up a picture of cinnamon. Oh, Cause your bunny? Because it's a viewer and she has the same type of bunny, so she wanted to see what he looked like. Okay, here is a picture of Candace's bunny cinnamon. This is Molly's bunny. <laughs> that ain't Molly's bunny. <laughs> and it, it ain't Molly's bunny, it ain't my bunny, it's Candace's bunny, and its name is Cinnamon. He's a Holland Lop and he's little bitty. He's only like that big. Uh, well, if he didn't have any fur, he would be nothing. I know. <laughs> he really is. All right, well, that's, that's really going to be it for us this today um thanks so much for watching bye y'all